Okay, so this is my first ever live. Hey, is that main boss one? Hey, thank you for joining. I'm not quite sure uh, what time it is because I'm using my phone, obviously, to go live and ain't got a clue what time it is, but I'm pretty sure it is time to start shortly. Okay, so hi Marigold, thank you for joining. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna wait for a few more people to come in, um, but I'm trying to get this started on time because I didn't want it to be too long, you know, for those who are gonna watch it on the replay because I know it's an international community and, um, you know, people who have ordered not only are based in the UK, but they are based in a lot of different countries, you know, which was a big surprise to me as well when all these orders came through. But what I wanted to do today was go live to answer um, any questions that you guys may have regarding the Hair We Grow Hair Growth Oil and also the Length Retention Butter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight into it. And also, um, I wrote down your questions right here. It's on my little notepad. And um, a lot of your questions and the questions which came in because some people submitted questions via Instagram, also email and Facebook and YouTube, you know, I realized that a lot of the questions were quite the same. So I kind of just put it together as one and um, it may not seem like a lot of questions because majority of the questions were the same, which is understandable. Okay, so first and foremost, I just want to say thank you to every single person who is able to join me live today. And um, for those who are going to watch it on the replay, because like I said, I know people are watching, um, or my customers or my followers as well, are not only based in the UK. So thank you for watching this live. And for those who are able to be here live with me, thank you very much. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. So um, the first question I want to jump into is what if no that's not the first question <laughs> sorry no the first I should have put this in order I just actually wrote down all the questions but I wanted to do it in a particular order because of how it kind of it would flow better but let me just actually find the question Okay, here we go. So the first question I wanted to answer here was, um, I received my product and it is of a thick consistency. What should I do? And it's very funny that I got this question, um, not got this question, but this particular question here, this actual one that I'm reading out came in this morning and I was getting similar questions to this like previously, right? So um, when you receive your oil, it may have a thick or a cloudy appearance, which I did answer or speak on in my video, which is actually on my IG Instagram um, page, right? Now, because the um, all the ingredients used in this product is natural and organic, so there's absolutely no chemicals, no preservatives, nothing like that, the um the consistency may get a bit solidified or cloudy when the temperature goes below seven degrees celsius and for those who are um in america it's 44 degrees fahrenheit so if the temperature is that or below it usually goes cloudy now to combat this all you have to do is simply put the oil in hot or warm water and it will return to its liquid state and once it's returned to its liquid state, you can use the oil as normal, you know. So just bear that in mind. There's absolutely no chemicals, no preservatives. It's 100% natural, 100% organic. And I don't know if you guys ever like, say, for example, purchased a bottle of olive oil or something like that, because olive oil is one of the um, ingredients in this product. Um, it will say on the back, if you read the label, it will also tell you, at a certain degree, a certain temperature, it will start to um, solidify. And also coconut oil is also in the product. And as we all know, coconut oil does actually solidify as well. So if you use that logic, knowing that there is at least 
two um, oils in here which do solidify when it gets too cold. That kind of answers that question as well. Kind of, no, no, not answer the question, but give some clarity as to why that is possibly the case. All right. So, yeah. And like I said, I did make mention of this in the video that I uploaded to the channel to the page sorry <laughs> and so you'll see that I answered that there as well but also I know that not a lot of you are following me here so like I said some of these questions came from emails YouTube and Facebook so yeah um so the next question I'm moving on to is does this oil really work and I get this question a lot like it's only been a year since I have been selling this product but I've been using it since 2017 and within the first year of um, you know putting it out there to the public this question came up a lot the, um, a lot does it really work and the answer to that question is yes it does actually work I mean you would actually see it from the before and after um, photos now I also understand why people ask that question even after seeing the results because to be honest when I first started you know putting together this concoction I was like is it gonna work like you know <laughs> because even before you know using this particular formula that I am using well I used to juice I still juice anyway but I used to um, do a lot of juicing and all of these things and it was juicing was introduced to me by my husband and I used to think, is it going to work? Is it really going to work? Even though I understand the benefits of these things, you still question yourself, like, is this going to work for me? We always think this may not work for me. It may work for everybody else, but will it work for me? Right. And the thing is, I can, the best way I can um, try to, um, show you guys that it would work even though you may have seen the um the before and after photos of not only myself but other people as well um you have to think about well not you have to think about i guess i have to explain it to you but um the ingredients which are used are proven to trigger hair growth right so like i mentioned um in the previous question you know there's olive oil in this product there's coconut oil in this product there's also other um carry oils as well like castor oil and um, essential oils like peppermint, um, lavender, rosemary and other herbs as well in this product. Um, I enjoyed fit the product. I guess that is amazing. Thank you very, very, very much. <laughs> I really do appreciate that. Um, but as mentioned now, um, with these different ingredients that are in there, they all have their own therapeutic properties, right? Now, for example, I know a lot of people are aware of castor oil and we know how castor oil, or we have heard, if we have never experienced it firsthand, we've heard how castor oil improves hair growth. We know that it can um, thicken the hair strands as well as um, strengthen the hair, right? So we all know this um, or heard of this but me speaking personally i've experienced i've used castor oil for a long time and i can vouch for it for myself that it does work um so if you think about these type of um, ingredients like you have castor oil also coconut oil um, and coconut oil it um helps with um what can i say it's more it's supportive of hormonal and cellular health right and i'm not sure if you guys have seen the video that i've recently uploaded about um, hormonal imbalances and how that affects hair growth but if you haven't yet seen it definitely check it out it's on my um ig page here we grow ig page um and you'll understand how stress or any other hormonal imbalances can impact hair growth now with coconut oil because it contains um lauric acid that's one of the properties that's in it that helps to support um any hormonal imbalances so it not support it's i mean support it in a sense of it reverses that it slows that down it corrects it and if you think about when you're applying these um, oils directly to your scalp it is seeping through the pores on your scalp going into the hair follicle because the hair follicle is actually 
A lot of people think, you know, the pores right here on your scalp is the hair follicle. That is not the hair follicle. The hair follicle is in the third layer of your skin, which is the hypodermis, which is also known as the sub cutaneous tissues so it's not even what you see right here it is what you see right here is your epidermis and then beneath this is your dermis then beneath that is the um hypodermis where the uh hair follicle or the hair actually grows and the hair follicle is also there so when you think about putting this oil directly onto your scalp and it's going straight into the pore and going right directly to the hair follicle and it's going to, you know, combat any hormonal imbalances that could be happening. You know, it's kind of just giving you that direct boost of hair health and hair growth, right? And also olive oil, which, you know, I mentioned, that also combats DHT. And DHT is another hormone in the body, which actually causes the hair follicle to shrink, and, you know, you start experiencing hair loss. And this is where you get the androgenic alopecia, which is also known as male or female pattern baldness. So if you think about these um, ingredients that is actually in the oil, you know, I, I hope you can see where I'm going with this. Like all the properties, that, um, all the ingredients, sorry, have their own therapeutic properties that will help encourage hair growth or trigger hair growth. Hey, X on the track. Thank you so much for joining. Um, need to order the hair butter soon come. <laughs> yes, you do. Because the hair butter, and that's another thing. With the hair butter, when you use the hair growth oil and your hair starts to flourish and grow and become nice and strong and healthy, you want to maintain all that length by using the hair butter. And the hair butter keeps your hair moisturized. So when your hair is moisturized, properly and also the ingredients used in this hair butter listen i do my research okay and you know this hair butter have some amazing ingredients in there and especially the vitamin e content that you do get from the um, what do you call it um, the shea butter also the baobab oil which is also in there and the baobab oil that is known as the tree um it comes from the a tree, um, the baobab tree, and that tree is known as the tree of life. And they say it got that name because that tree can exist from 500 to 1,000 years old. So that's some time here, okay? So um, the hair butter also contains those um, ingredients, which is rich in vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin C, all of these antioxidant vitamins, which help to get rid of any free radicals that is, um, you know, I don't know if you know what free radicals are, but those are negative things that's in your bloodstream, which also is, okay, the hair growth will also have you know, antioxidant properties from the uh, other ingredients like the herbs that are used in there. So having that being applied to your scalp, you know, that's also helping to combat any free radicals that's possibly in the um, the blood vessels that is attached to the hair follicle, right? So now when you're applying the hair butter to your actual hair strands and it's getting underneath the cuticle of the hair strands, that's even making it much more... I oh, know, healthier and stronger, right? Um, I love this product in my locks. Yes, yes. Listen, when I had my locks, I know some of you guys here may not know that, but I did have locks. And when I had my locks, I used it on my locks. And also with the hair butter, it's really light. Like a lot of the reviews I'm getting, you know, people are saying, oh wow, it just melts right in your hands and it's so light. You won't even need a lot when you're applying it to locks or even your hair strands, right? If you have loose natural hair. So anyway, all of that to say the ingredients in this product definitely have their own therapeutic properties and healing properties and properties that will help your hair to grow. That's why um, I know it work. It definitely work. And the best thing I could say is give it a go, try it for yourself and see if it works or not. But I mean, that was a long winded answer for that one particular question. But the reason why I felt I had to kind of go in a little bit more is because like I mentioned, despite seeing the results that other people do get from using the product, 
some people are still, you know, skeptical, like, does it even really work, really? You know, and at one point I used to think like that, does it work, will it work for me? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> but despite all the research I did, I had to just go ahead, try it, and it worked for me. So that's the one thing I can say is despite giving you all these answers, you just have to try it for yourself and see how it works for you. But I'm pretty sure it will work as long as you do the work, right? Because <laughs> you have to apply it. What, what would be the point you order it and have it sitting there on your dresser and not using it? You have to then apply it, right? For it to work, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to move on to the next question here and I hope um, that kind of answers that. I hope, you know, you understand where I'm coming from with that. Um, but moving on to the next question, let me just mark the ones that I've already answered. Okay. And the next question I get here is, what if you've had alopecia for a very long time? Okay, so if you've had alopecia for a very long time, what I can actually say is when you're using the hair growth oil, you're gonna have to be committed to this. Because if you think about it, if your hair or your hair follicles have been sitting dormant for a long time and not getting any, you know, nourishment, no stimulation like massaging it and any care focused on it you're going to have to dedicate some time it's not going to be quick for you right you're gonna have to you know think about like look at it like this right say you planted a seed you want to grow a plant and you know all right when once this plant grows i'm gonna get like, for example avocados because i love avocados and i got a whole bunch of those <laughs> the seeds downstairs and I actually planted it, or not planted it, but, you know, began the process of germinating, I guess. I don't know if that's the word, but, you know, allowing it to grow. And before I saw the first root, it was two months I've had that um, seed sitting on my, um, what do you call it, windowsill in my kitchen. Now, you're going to have to put some time in and you have to allow it to do its thing and that's not to say if you're using it you won't see you are uh, you may not may not see anything happening but what is happening underneath well not what's happening underneath but there's something happening underneath until it starts to flourish because like I says it took me two months before I saw the root of the actual aloe vera aloe vera what am I talking about the avocado um seed right and that was sitting there and i kept watering it i kept putting water in it every time the water levels got low i'll put it there so if you've had alopecia for a long time using the hair growth oil it will work but you have to be committed it's not it's not impossible because for example now i'm going to give you another example a more real life example i guess um on my youtube channel I've documented my hair growth journey, right? And I shared with you guys how, well, my audience over on YouTube, that I suffer with, not suffer, but my temples right here are the most stubborn to grow back when I was going through alopecia, dealing with um, alopecia, right? It was so stubborn. And I would massage it and all of these things. And it's like, I'm doing everything externally, right? And it seems like nothing was happening. But then I started juicing. I started adding my juicing back into my, um, you know, my routine, as well as drinking smoothies. And when I started looking, I'm like, wait a minute. They're growing back. Like I can see the, the hairs coming through. So if you've had alopecia for a long time, because like I said, I have this stubborn area for years, okay? And it started to grow. So if you've had alopecia for a long time, you have to consider other things, not only topical, because internal hair care is major. Like you can't just only think, oh, this just, you know, focus on out here and not focus on in here, 
Because if you're healthy, because your hair grows from the inside out. So if you're healthy on the inside, it will also help for your hair to flourish on the outside because what's going on underneath hair, it's, you know, it's doing what it needs to do. But also when you're doing the topical one now, because once you ingest things internally, obviously, it's not just going straight to your hair. It's going to other parts of your body and to help your body to function. But at least when you're applying it to your scalp, the hair growth oil to your scalp is going directly into the pore and going directly to the hair follicle and it's giving it the nutrient it need. You understand what I'm saying? So if you've had alopecia for a long time, it's just going to take a little bit more, you know, more consistency and a little bit more dedication. And you may need to do a little bit, you know, more extra stuff, but not necessarily extra. But if you do consume your nutrients, your daily recommended intake of nutrients, then that will be even more positive results for you. So I hope that answers that question and you know, you feel like your and your question has been answered thoroughly. Hopefully it was. <laughs> All right, so the last question I'm gonna um, answer is, how long before you see results? And that's another frequently asked question, like how long before I see results? Now, again, like I just answered in that previous question, if you've had alopecia for a long time, then your results may take a little bit longer for you to see, but that's not to say that this is not working, right? Don't confuse that in saying that it's not working, right? So your results, it comes down to you and you being consistent and you, you know, saying, all right, I am going to use this product how I, it's been recommended for me to use, which I recommend using it daily. But as mentioned, if you are not able to maintain daily application, at least um, three to four times per week. And one of my customers as well have even said to me that when I've advised them that I recommend that you do it daily, but you know, at least three to four times a week. And they actually said to me that, um, I wasn't even being consistent and my result was crazy. And they were like, imagine if I was doing this daily, may, I would have had my results even much faster. So, you know, it just comes down to how consistent you are. And also what is going on with your body internally, right? You could have a deficiency in certain nutrients that you're not even aware of and you're just thinking I'm applying this topically and I'm not seeing anything, right? So you have to also think about those things, your lifestyle factor, what's going on with you personally, you know? I could have, you know, um, patches for years and, you know, my hair follicles ain't being stimulated for years. So my results may take longer. But I promise you, if you are consistent, and this is why it is very important that you do take your before photos, because for you personally, you know, you might see your results quicker than somebody else, right? So when I was doing my hair growth challenge, I was um, doing it three to four times per week. My, I was applying it to my scalp three to four times per week. I was drinking, I was juicing, I was doing all of these different things, and let me tell you, every time when I go and look in the mirror, oh my God, I'll be like, nothing's happening. Oh my God, I'm wasting my time. What am I doing? But I kept going. I kept going. And then at the two week mark, I took another photo of my hair and then I put the side by side. Actually, I didn't even put it side by side immediately. Um, I remember looking at the photo even at the two week mark and I was thinking, nothing's happening. What's going on? But I kept going. But when it came time for me to put my side by sides, I was like, oh my God, this is how much my hair had grown in two weeks. But when you look in the mirror every day, you don't notice the growth. You don't see what's going on. So this is why it is very important for you to take your before and after photos because you'll be surprised, right? And just try not to go in the mirror every single day looking like, oh my God, is it, is it growing? Is it growing? Because it's not going to grow just like that. Things take time. Like, for example, hold on, let me just read these um, messages coming through. 
Um, I've noticed thicker roots over the last three months using this product. Perfect, yes. And like I mentioned, you know, you will see thickness as well in your um, your hair strands. And I know I didn't actually touch on this one, but some of the herbs that are used in this product, it's rich in vitamin C. And vitamin C helps with collagen production. And collagen, which is another form of protein, it helps the hair, the hair strands to expand and appear thicker right so these are all the nutrients that you're getting in this oil that is going you're going to see thickness you're going to see growth etc right but you have to be consistent you have to be consistent and like another example is one of my past customers they were actually seeing results they were like yes results results but then um, they advised me that they, because I like to check in with people like, okay, so how is it going? Just want to make sure you're still happy with everything. And they actually said to me, um, I noticed that my hair ain't growing that much. I'm like, okay, what's going on? And they actually said, but I have to be honest, I haven't been using the oil as I was before. And this is one thing I want to remind you guys of as well, especially if you've had alopecia for a while and you're really trying to grow it in. You have to remember you are trying to stimulate that hair follicle to become active again, right? And become healthy because you will notice, you know, your hair everywhere else on your head that you're not experiencing alopecia or hair loss with. Um, you'll be like, oh, it's just growing, it's growing because those hair follicles are healthy. There was nothing wrong with them before. But the ones that have now become dormant, you can't just like, oh, let me entice it. Let me stimulate it for a little bit. And then, oh, figure it out for yourself. No, you need to get it to a point where it can just be like, oh, I'm thriving now. Now, when you apply the hair growth oil to me, it's just an extra boost. Like you are literally at the beginning stage of trying to help it to become, you know, alive again, right? So, um... Whoa, I feel like I went off and I kind of forgot where I was going. But yeah, the um, you'll see thickness in your um, hair because as mentioned, the cer certain um, ingredients in there. Um, the next one, I use this product Mondays and Thursdays. And look at that. So this person here said that they only use it Mondays and Thursdays, but yet they said that they've noticed that their roots over the last three months have got thicker. So, but at least, at least, hold up, what's going on here? At least, what's going on? At least that shows consistency. That is consistency in using the product Mondays and Thursdays. You're consistently using it and you're still seeing results. So imagine if you were using it every day. Maybe you can't use it every day and that's fine. But what if you're using it three to four times per week? Do you see what I'm saying? You'll still see results. And that's just based off the ingredients that are in there. There was a lot of research that went into it. I made sure I do my little study. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, what I was going to say as well in regards to how long it will take before you see results, you have to also think about this, right? For example, I'm on a fitness journey as well, as well as my hair journey. When I started my fitness journey... I was actually kind of like, whoa, I didn't even realize I looked like that, <laughs> you know, but when I did my before photos and by the time the end of the, the program, I personally looking in the mirror, I was like, uh, I still feel like I look the same. But when I did that side by side comparison and saw myself, I was like, wow, right? But you have to look at it like this as well. If I just sat there and just did, you know, work out once a week for a month or for two months, do you think I'm going to see any difference? No, not really. You know, so there is a process. Everything takes time. You can't just go to the gym. What was that? You can't just go to the gym once a week and expect to see crazy results by the end of two months. Just like the hair growth oil. You can't just use it once a week and then by the end of two months you're expecting to see crazy hair growth yes you will see some changes but could that have been better if you remain consistent and putting in that work you know so you have to think about things like that logically there's a process to everything everything takes time 
So when you're asking how long or how long before you see results, and it depends on the results that you want to see, you're thinking, oh, I want to see my hair just grown in immediately. No, it's going to take time because in my before and after photos, because some of those photos was of myself, you saw my hair when it was pretty much filled in and that was six months, right? And some of the other, um, what you call it, photos in the in that video were people with two weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, etc. Okay, so it varies. Okay, let me get to this. Um, after I use the oil that comes out the tube, should I massage my scalp using my fingertips? Yes, yes. And massaging your scalp helps with stimulating the hair follicles and also helps with the blood circulation because I don't think a lot of people realize this, but do you know, are you aware that your hair strands actually have blood in them? I don't know if a lot of people realize this, but if you ever think about it logically, why do you think someone can identify who you are by a strand of hair? Because also at the root of your hair, because there's blood vessels and that's how your hair strands get the nutrients, it feeds into the papilla, which is at the base of the hair follicle, and it goes to the hair strands. And that the papilla is that little white little, I don't know, sometimes you may notice a little white ball at the bottom of your hair strand. A lot of people think that's the hair follicle, but that's not the hair follicle. The hair follicle is actually in the depth, the third layer of your skin, and that is like inside of your skin. It's like kind of like the makeup off your skin in a sense right so yeah so when you massage your scalp it's going to allow the blood flow you know to get to the the papilla which then pushes all that nutrients into your hair follicles so massaging it you definitely want to do that you want to do that for about five to ten minutes as well you don't have to do it too long and you want to be gentle. You don't want to be digging into your head like, uh, uh, you know, and then you start seeing little hairs on your fingertips. You know, I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> I used to go in like, yes, I really need this to, you know, stimulate and, you know, all of that good stuff. And then you start seeing little bits of hair on your finger like, oh my God, what's happening? Being a bit too rough. You want to be gentle. Okay. Um, after our should, oh, hold on, after our... Should I leave the oil and let it sit on the scalp? One second. After I use the, the oil that comes out the tube, should I massage my scalp using my fingertips? Yes. After, I guess you may mean, mean, mean to say after that, should I leave the oil and let it sit in the scalp? Yes, you can do that because when I use the hair growth oil, I don't wash it out. I just leave it to be in my scalp. But... You can also use the hair growth oil as a hot oil treatment. And um, when you use it as a hot oil treatment, usually you put it on your head and you cover your head for about an hour if you are not sitting under a hair dryer or a hooded dryer that the blow up ones. Um, if you're using one of those 30 minutes, if you're not using it, just keep your head covered with like a plastic bag or shower cap um, and then you can rinse it out. You know, you can use it like that. You can also leave it on your scalp as well. There's nothing wrong. It's just like oiling your scalp. Just like, say, for example, you, you bathe or, you, well, obviously you bathe and then you go and oil yourself up. You're not going to be like, oh, do I need to wash myself off? I just put oil on my skin? <laughs> no. So you can actually leave it on. But if you use it as a hot oil treatment, you can actually, you know, wash it out. And uh, you're right. This is good information. Thank you. I'm glad you found it very helpful. So um, that's all the questions um, that I pretty much had. And um, like I said, majority of the questions were pretty much the same. Um, you guys were just giving me your own variation of what is actually happening with yourself and asking pretty much, will this hair growth oil work for me? And like I said, the best way to find out if it will work for you is to give it a go and be consistent. Be consistent. And also, this will help me if you guys were to submit your before and after photos. And obviously, with your consent, I could, you know, show it to others to show them that it do actually work. And if you see the format in how I display your before and after, your face is 
cut out no one will know who it actually is they'll just see your amazing results and that will show more people that it actually work and also um <laughs> there is going to be a new label of the here we grow here growth oil bottle and um i'm planning to launch that and show you guys that very soon so when you actually start making your new orders or your repeat orders the bottle is going to be different but the formula everything is exactly the same right um and the reason why i wanted to change it up because when i actually came out with the hair growth oil it was literally like oh my god somebody wants to buy this from me I want to present it in the best way possible and I literally designed everything myself and I was just like okay this is the best I can do currently I'm still designing it myself I'm not necessarily a graphic designer or anything like that I'm still trying to find the right people but in the meantime I kind of wanted to give it a little bit more oomph and a little bit more details because you know a lot of people ask me how to use it so in this new um, label it will detail how you can use the oil you know I wanted to give as much information on it but as it as I continue to grow I will be able to present it in the best way for you guys but right now I just want to let you know the new batch of oils which will go out is gonna be of a different label okay <laughs> but um in anybody else that's in here is there any other questions? If not, I'm gonna wrap this up because I didn't want it to be way too long. I just wanted to get straight to the point, answer all the questions, and then let you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> oh no, what's this? Um, what I love about this product is that it has so much ingredients and it's lightweight and smells nice. Most products have so much ingredients and are and are too heavy grease. Is there more? Oh, that was a, I thought it was a comma. I think it's a comma. I thought there was more. But thank you very much. <laughs> you know what's crazy about the smell of this product? Some people love it and some people are like, oh, I'm not too sure about this. And I'm not going to lie, when I first made it, some, just a little, whoop. <laughs> when I first made it, I was like, oh this is a bit too strong oh <laughs> you know but now I've, I've used it for like i said since 2017 i'm so used to the smell but you know it really you know make me feel nice and good to know that people appreciate the smell i mean you know some people are like oh i'm not too sure about this and you know others love it so thank you and it is lightweight it really is it really is especially the um the um wait are you talking about the hair growth oil or are you actually talking about the uh butter but either way both of them they're very lightweight very lightweight the hair butter when you rub it into your hand it literally melts away and what's crazy i just realized i don't even have either of the products here with me to show you guys uh my next live it will be better <laughs> this is my first live ever on this um on this um, channel here so yeah next time I'll definitely make sure I have it in the background instead of these these things here that I got from Egypt <laughs> but okay guys so I'm gonna wrap it up thank you very much for joining me oh see my son just came barging in <laughs> oh my god oh, hold up <laughs> He just went out but thank you so much for joining me today and i hope i've answered everybody's questions if you have any further questions don't hesitate to drop them in the comments or even send me an email at info at here we grow that store and i will definitely make sure to answer you so yeah thank you very much and i'll see you next time bye